Okay, this is what I learned after doing my latest project. It was an inverter project, uh, learning the circuit of an inverter and what it can do and what it can't do, and I actually made a battery charger out of it too. But it was a very good learning experience uh, to see what kind of power you need for how much light you need. And uh, here, I live here in California. We have wildfires and we have earthquakes. And this is why the project uh, was really started. This plus my boat was a way to make light. And this is what I came up with. Uh, go back to a, a regular old inverter. This is a plain old 150 watt inverter that has a 12 volt and a 110 volt and a USB port. And the USB port is so you can plug in your cell phone charger, uh, computer, whatever, and use this thing here. Um, this is the 150 watt power inverter and really you can get by with this. You can get a much bigger one and do better but you require more power from the sun. And I'm driving this off of um, a 40 watt panel and uh, that's going into a 24 amper hour 12 volt steel lead acid with a charge controller. The one on the other side is separate. It's It's got its own circuit that's a 10 watt and that is going into that little battery right there. It's like a buffer. You see the voltage meter going back and forth. And this is going into a AA battery charger. It's a fast charger. It charges up the AA's in about 15 minutes. It draws a lot of juice, but it gets the job done in a hurry. And uh, that's what's important. I found out it was to have a flashlight. And you need flashlights. You can get recharged, and you can get them recharged from the sun. The other thing is the CFL. This is a plain old 110 volt CFL that runs off that inverter. Now she draws about an amp and a quarter but if you got a big enough solar panel and the correct battery that's the light you're going to need for at night. Also the computer you can run the computer off this inverter. Anyway just a heads up to the California people or anybody that's in a disaster area um, this is real world. This is the, the real deal. You need something that works. Now this thing here, this is what I built. This is my little CFL that I built and it does work and it's mobile. And <laughs> after looking at all this stuff, what I decided was this would probably cheer me up. Having something that I built that worked that I could look at at night that was kind of cheery. And that would be helpful to raise your spirits a little bit. Anyway, I just wanted to give, uh, give um, some sharing on what I've discovered from uh, all my experiments with the uh, charging circuits and light.